What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. Thank you for stopping by and if you are an OG, thank you for returning back to my channel. I am just finishing up a beautiful wig install courtesy of Nadula. This hair right here is absolutely gorgeous. It's fire. It's a vibe. I feel like I'm my prettiest when I have wow natural hair like so. But of course I set it off with a beautiful snatched slade to the gods hairline and I did it all on camera for you guys but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video jumping right into it this is the packaging for Nadula they did include some goodies which I will show at the end of the video the one goodie I wanted to show was their upgraded wig caps they are now transparent which it works in our favor everyone loves a good ball cap method but you don't have to do the ball cap method with this one so they are soft thin transparent and they are going to be less detectable this is the wig here straight out of the pack. She is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. The texture is kinky straight, 150% density, 24 inches in length. And it does include this adjustable wig band to make it fit a little bit more snug. And as you guys can see, the fit is perfect. This is what the cap and the wig looks like on. I'm going to pull my wig back and just go ahead and buff my favorite foundation that matches my skin onto the front and as you guys can see this is going to make it look a lot more seamless i'm also going to pull it back a little bit so that the cap is like behind the hairline which helps me a lot as well because i do not like doing the ball cap method personally this one came pre-plugged and everything is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace around the hairline. You can see here that they did provide baby hair and we are going to do a little bit of a baby hair trick in just a moment. You can also see how amazing the hairline looks against my complexion. Again, everything is ready to go. This one is not going to be very hard at all to go ahead and make look good. We are going with a glueless install per use. I'm using the even in the color yellow. I'll have it linked in the description box. We're going to blow dry that in on a cool setting. I like to work in sections when I do it this way. That way I do the center. Once it's dry, I do one side. And then once that's dry, I do the opposite side. If you are going to do sideburns, just pay a little bit more attention to make sure the sideburns are bonded down as far as like the lace tabs go. And if you're not, you can go ahead and cut the lace that goes like where the tabs are and kind of make it go behind the ear. This is what the wig looks like from the back. As I mentioned, this is only 150% density, so don't be afraid of how full she looks. She is amazing, and it's not too heavy. It looks full, but you're not going to feel like you have like a 10-pound wig on. It feels nice and airy and soft, and for me personally, I don't care how hot it is, my hair matters, and if I want to big do, and if I want to do big voluminous hair, I'm going to do it, and it just doesn't feel like too much for me. As I mentioned we are doing baby hair so I'm gonna do like very 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 thin very short hair along the hairline that's gonna help to camouflage the lace and then I'm gonna do two nice swoops above the arches of the eyebrows and then I'm also gonna do sideburn so let's do it together and you'll see exactly how I do it the most important parts about hairline whether you're doing baby hair or not is to make sure that the Hair at the front looks like it's coming out of the scalp. The trick I do is I use a wax stick. Mine is from BDAGBeauty.com paired with the electric hot comb that is also from BDAGBeauty.com. And I just use that to really, really make sure that the hair looks thin and melted along the hairline. Next, I'm going in with a small flat iron to just go ahead and curl the hair towards my face. This is going to just help to make the whole like swoop the baby hair process a lot easier because the hair is tamed. I am using an edge control also shamelessly from BDAGBD.com. Be sure to check the description box for a direct link. And as you guys can see, a lot of the times that swoop will take a couple minutes or sometimes a lot of minutes to achieve, but when you use a hot comb and a flat iron or one of the other, it just helps the hair to just listen and act right off the bat. Now you guys see, I did do a little bit of baby hair along the hairline to connect those two swoops, but it's so little and so thin and so seamless that it just, you really can't tell. It just adds a little natural oomph to it in my opinion. I did do the sideburns as well. 
This is a look at the parting. I wanted you guys to see what it will look like as a center part. We do have four inches of parting space going backwards, so you can definitely do a center part or a side part. Because this one appears so full, I love, love, love it as a half up, half down. I'm going to just take a little bit more of the wax stick. I really want the ponytail to look super sleek. Because it is so voluminous, I just want to make sure that the ponytail doesn't look voluminous. I want the actual base of the ponytail to look like it's coming out of my scalp per se. And that's why I go a little bit hard and I make sure that that is super, super flat. Now we're just going to use a ouchless band to go ahead and secure that pony and we are good to go. I did not run a flat iron through the hair on camera just because I wanted to keep it in its natural state, but you can do it to tame it just a little bit. But as you guys can see, you don't need to do that at all. I was so amazed and just at a wow of how beautiful this one is. Now a trick that we all know by now is to secure the pony, wrap the pony, cover the pony with a little bit of hair. And I like to use the same adhesive that I use along the hairline to just go ahead and make it tacky. That's gonna make it stick so you don't have to see like a rubber band on top of that or a bobby pin either. This is the finished result. Absolutely beautiful. And we're just going to bring it all together with a little bit of powder that matches my complexion. You can use a lace tint, but a powder always is going to be customizable and something that you already have, I'm pretty sure. So if you do makeup, you have a powder that matches. You don't need a lace tint. Whoa, I am so impressed. I love the way this one looks on me. So I just wanted to bask in the glory of this hairline and how amazing it is, especially considering I didn't have to do anything. This one did come from Nadula, as we mentioned. And inside, they also gave a wig band with their name on it. And the end of the box is don't quit, don't stop, don't give up, keep it moving. I love that quote, especially as we enter quarter four of the year and I am feeling all of the wanting to relax and just chill and cook and clean and just do with my kids. And we got to hustle and grind and get to the next level of success for the kids. So inside of the little mesh purple bag, there are these super voluminous mink lashes. Very, very beautiful and very, very me. Another wig band, which is nice to have a couple of these just because you guys know I only wear mine from bdaybeauty.com. But I like having one that I like for bedtime. I like having an option for when I'm working out and I like having an option for when I shower. And just being able to keep one like in my purse. So it's nice that they gave you two. They also gave a pink wig cap, which also is very nice and convenient. I'm going to assume it's like a, a travel size, like kabuki style makeup brush. Yeah, it's like a kabuki travel powder brush, which I need because I added a little bit of powder under my eye. These are also two more packages that were in the bag. So this one here is a beautiful robe, just a nice satin silky robe in a nice nude color it has the name on the back at the nape and it also has it here like on your right side chest it's a mini roll but it's you know long enough to be modest ugly and it came with a belt a cute little tote bag you know when you don't want to pay 10 cents here in california for an extra bag like if you're going to a makeup store or something simple just having a nice tote bag or even because i'm always doing something with the kids i did do the little wax stick trick where i just added a nice generous amount of wax stick around the ponytail and just chased it with the electric hot comb and that's what gave the sleek feel this is a vibe this really 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 goes with me it is something that just looks really 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 good on me and i love it to life so i'm I'm gonna have it linked in the description box. Let me show you what it looks like from the back if I haven't already. So I love it, love it, love it. Hope you guys do. And if you do, go ahead and check the description box for a details list link of this wig and everything else we used to complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.